next thing we're going to do is we're going to install this client here. Uh, excuse me, they're going, going to install the media agent on this Ubuntu server um, from the ComServe. So we're going to open up our ComServe. We're going to get into that. I'm just rebooting um, my Windows server, my rather my ComServe server um, for patches. Common thing, of course, you know this when you have a Windows server, you have to patch it a lot. Has a lot of patches, which leads me into a reminder of installing uh, most things on a D drive if possible versus a C drive in, in Commvault. Just for that reason, um, your 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 C drive would just fill up, you know. Okay, just making sure that my com serve serve versus server services are running. Good to go there. Okay, all is well. Yeah, and then I'm going to start the com serve console console. Now that our com serve has been rebooted, uh, patches done and all that. Let's install the software for the Ubuntu uh, file media agent and um, yeah, Ubuntu media agent and file agent or Linux file agent media agent. We're going to start with going to tools and then all, add software hardware. We're going to click on add uh, rather install software. Okay, where was I? Tools, add remove software, install software. We're going to click on next. And we're going to do um, Unix and Linux actual installation here. So we're going to do a manual select computers. We're going to import from the uh, Active Directory. Incidentally, if you ever did this, would you import it from files? You would just, for instance, you're installing a bunch of servers. Uh, and then you just put it in a Word document or a notepad, if you will. Double click on that information. And then it, it, it will list hundreds or however many you want to install of those clients. In our case, we're just going to do an import from Active Directory or Directory. So it's uh, going to be Windows Active Directory. Domain name is going to we're going to we're going to put that in there. Garlic food. Then the username is going to be garlic food slash. Uh, we're going to do admin since the reason being since um, the backup password or the backup user actually is not in the sudoers group on that uh, Ubuntu desktop. Basically, to install the media agent on. So that's why we're doing it. We click OK. It's going to pull a list of servers it sees in the Active Directory list, and we're going to choose ours. And we know ours is the Lin Serv CMV LTMA1. That's the one where ours is listed as. We're going to add that, and we're going to just erase these two here. We're going to click Next, and then we're going to put in the... Um, there is a it's, a, it's a root password. Basically, it's got pseudo rights on the local box. That's what we're going to put in here on the media agent, the Linux box. We're going to put the, it's not going to be like an Active Directory um, account. It's going to be um, a local admin on that box. Okay, we're going to put that. So Linux admin, that's a pseudo ors in the pseudo ors group, the admins group. Click next, and if that doesn't work, we'll just come back and put root, and that'll it'll be that. So we're going to install three things, two things actually. Well, three things: media agent, the file system core, and the file system. We're going to leave everything else um, blank. We're just going to install these three things. Click next. We're going to actually going to add this client to the Linux client group. Um, and push next. You can, like I said, you can add more. You can create more client groups if you desire. But in our case, we're just going to click the put it in the Linux client group. Click next on that one. 
we're going to leave the, these default, the installer flags, since we, um, and if we have to turn off the firewall on, on Linux, we will. Uh, we shouldn't have to because it's in the domain. But if we have to, we have to. We'll do that. Click next. Then um, we're going to leave these all default blank. We're going to let, let them just decide where it wants to install it, essentially. Click next on that one. Um, you would do this in the Windows, like I said, for the D drive. And if you had, say, you, you know, you're installing, um, I know in some Linux instances, like Solaris, you can have, I think they're called zones, I believe, where you have like an extra drive, essentially, you know, and you can install it on that. I don't recommend that. I recommend installing it on the local, whatever the OS boots up to, put it on there, on Linux, and just add more space as needed. Versus the Windows, put it on D drive, something that's not on the C drive, because the C drive just gets so full. Um, you know, usually... Linux, um, you can usually increase, it's smaller usually in Linux, so there's not as many, uh, much uh, space needed to install everything. There is no, um, there's no firewall between the two because I've disabled my Windows firewall here. And uh, let's click next. And then we're going to run this job immediately. And then it's going to prompt us to some installation factors. What are we doing basically? What are you trying to install right? All that stuff. Scroll down. This is probably the key here. You're going to focus on the Unix. You can click on, we're going to install a media agent. We're going to install file system core. We're going to install the file system. And we're going to put in the client group. And this is the client name. Lin SR VR CMV LT MA1. And then um, click finish. And then afterwards, we're going to click on job controller. Job controller. Okay. And it's going to prop, pop up our, our, our job. And if everything goes well, it's going to take, I think, 30 minutes or more. I know, um, I think last time on 10, version 10, it took quite a, well, quite a bit. I didn't do, I didn't do it in version 10 via the push or from the comm server, did it locally. So that was a lot quicker because the file was already there. Where this one, we're pushing over a, a small network, a 172 network. To that box so immediately in about I don't know 30 seconds or a minute if it doesn't work we'll know it because it'll have like a little error saying um, if we can't log in for instance we need to go back and change the root password rather if we need to add it to the root or sorry if we need to change from the Linux admin to the root we'll know here in a couple minutes because it'll say something like um, login failed or something like that so um, usually that's the that's the problem. Um, yeah. So I'm going to pause the video and come back after it's, uh, after it's done completed here. Or if it's on, after it's to a point where it's almost done. Usually it, at this point in time, it will, uh, it goes from like to be attempted and then tra transferring packets to client. And then it'll say something like client is new, uh, installing, etc., etc. And if, Again, if we reach past this point to the, past the, um, oh, come on, really? Come on now. I guess I got to go back and, so, okay, here we go. Watch this. So, here's all I'm going to do with that deal. I'm going to right-click on it. I'm going to kill the job. Yeah. Blah, blah, whatever. And then I'm going to right-click and I'm going to resend the job whenever it decides to want to yeah right click right click okay yeah resend that job and we're just gonna next do this real quick because it has everything already set up basically or all the information you have there and we're just gonna change this to root basically and we're just gonna click finish because all everything else is stays the same because you didn't change anything and then uh, we're gonna see I don't know how it works. I'm going to push F5 to get rid of that one. It makes you refresh the screen. I'm going to click on the install client here. And we're going to see what it is it says. So if you want to see that error, basically, on the old job, um, that's the cool part about Commvault. It always, doesn't always work, but it, most of the time it gets you where you want. But 
a lot of the air codes, the 68, 176. Um, there's just some other things that you know are needed, but um, just change the root password. You know, change it to, um, or sorry, change the password to root, meaning you, you know you have uh, a pseudo access to that on that on that uh, on that Linux box. So that's why I change it to root instead of Linux admin. Okay, failed again. Um, I'm going to log into the Ubuntu server Linux box basically and just see what what may be the problem actually. Uh, let's see. Let's just click here real quick. Well, where's that error at? If you like this video and you want to see more, please jump on to my course, which is I have two courses. One is at Get a job in it.teachable.com and the other course is on Udemy. It's learn backup and restore with Commvault get a high paying job. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.